If you've been looking for an old style American garage, I think we might have something for you. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we've only got four mods for you, but they are for all platforms. We've got two new and two updates. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have the old American garage from OK Used Mods. This is a classic American garage with a vehicle workshop. It's going to cost you $15,000 and it is seasons ready so that is great one thing i love is windows that actually work i mean there's windows in the doors too windows up here they're everywhere let's open up and let's check this out so when you walk right in this area right here is going to be used for your workshop so whenever you're ready to work on a vehicle come over here click your button and you are ready to go we've got a lot of different things in here we got a door so we can open this up love the like painted wood on here i mean i've i've seen so many doors like that where you paint it and then you know 10 15 years later well it's all cracked up and it looks like that but we do have a front door we have a back door and we even have the larger garage door as well plus check this out we've got a light switch but like it's an actual light switch which is so cool we got lights over here we got lights in the main part and even on the outside yes we have lights out here as well so those are there let's see let's go right here click the button and lights start to turn off and there you go so that is the old american garage from ok used mods and your only other new mod for all platforms today is going to be the grain buildings with silo this is going to be well exactly what it says you've got some grain areas and you have a built-in silo right there uh, you could store all kinds of stuff here. Capacity is going to be 2.8 million liters. Uh, it does okay, so it's 400,000 per type. Okay, so capacity 2.8 million liters. That's not how that's not how this works. It's 400,000 liters, exactly what it says. We'll go through, double check real quick. Say 415. So I'm actually playing on a map right now that I haven't been around. 400,000 liters. Yeah, so completely ignore that 2.8 million liters if you guys are checking it out online. Uh, this is going to cost $420,000. It will hold wheat, barley, canola, uh, corn, oats, sunflowers, and soybeans. So you got all that. Seasons ready and 250 bucks per day. Come over here, open up your grading. This is where you're going to put your grain. You got your silo area right here. So this is where you're going to extract your grain and if we go around here, you guys saw we have quite a few places. So you can put grain through here. You could store vehicles, kind of however you want to do. You're good to go. And then over here, this little red glowing thing will go click that. And we have full lights. I like that these aren't like bright white lights. They're like older style yellow lights, almost a red hue to them. Really love that. And then we have a bay right here. You can do grain here, but I would definitely recommend doing like a vehicle, maybe a couple semi-trucks, they'll fit perfectly. Making our way into mod updates, but the first one's more of a new mod. This is the automatic and service trailers pack. So uh, beforehand, we had trailers like these that were already filled with things like seeds, fertilizer, straw, hay, grass, barley, soybeans, wood chips, whatever. Now we have versions that have what's called automatic tipping. So whenever you get to a point, whether it's for your silo or whether it's a sell point, this will automatically start tipping for you. So there's no point to say, you know, unload, you know, whatever here. If you've got a bunch of wheat and you're going to a silo, unload into blah, blah, blah silo. Nope, it automatically does it for you. It says we have 10 trailers, but I think we have like 20 because we've got a lot in here. So take, uh, well, trailers in game, for example we have multicolor versions of them now so we have some older colors with like force stuff like that but we also have like chrome colors in here too like we go into rim we have a chrome well, that's chrome matte but that's fine and let's say i want this to be a gloss one for whatever reason i could do that i could I, we could change the colors now so if you're not too crazed up on maybe like a normal version like this where we would have in game with automatic tipping well you could customize your very own at full color customization how neat is that 
I think that's so cool. These are one of my favorite trailers in the game right here. I love these very, very much so. You even got Joska Transpace, but it's got this too. Dude, that's so awesome. And even the Crampy Bandit. I know a lot of you guys like that trailer and the Agriliner. But the thing is, you can use the version in game if you wish. So you don't have to have the multicolor version again. All of these do the uh, automatic unloading and the automatic tipping, which is really, really cool. So you've got access to all of these. You can make these match your favorite trucks or your favorite tractors, whatever you want to do there. Plus, you get access to the automatic tipping feature. It's going to save you time. Eh, I'm not sure it's going to save you money, but it's going to save you some time for sure. Definitely get on this mod. This is cool. And lastly, today we have an update to the map What's Nice by Bartson V3. Now this is going to be version 1.001. Some of these updates are for all platforms. Some of these are for PC only. So heads up there. As far as PC only, you have Maze Plus ready and Manure System ready. And then for all platforms, you have a second farm has been added, added eight new terrain paint textures. All crop textures have been changed. Fix the textures that have been changed. The option to sell oats at both stores has been added. Added new crops, rye and triticale, so you've got those. The first farm has been modified slightly. Traffic performance has been improved. Fix some fields. Purchase machines in the store have been moved from where they were previously. The agro mash plow is already on the farm now, and they fixed the trees on bulks. So you've got all of that. An absolutely beautiful, wonderful map right here. If you guys are interested in maybe some smaller playing maps that are a little bit smaller in general, hey, give this a try because this map feels massive and the detail is incredible. Guys, well, that is going to be it for today. Nice, short, sweet, and to the point. Not a whole lot going on on the Mod Hub today. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get some pretty crazy stuff happening. But with all that being said, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, Join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All be said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.